Hello, welcome. My name is Dana. I am the Prairie Knitter over here on YouTube and Instagram. You can find me. I am a knitter from Canada, actually in Manitoba, so I'm from the prairies. Um, I live just outside the city in a little country with about two acres of land, so quite a large garden. <laughs> uh, I live with my partner. We've been together for about 11, 11 years, 12? 11. He is currently at the cabin right now, so I've got some privacy so I can film this. We also live with my dog. This is Odette, or Odie for short. She is a long-haired chihuahua. She's 13 years old. She used to be all black, but now she's turning white. She's been sick last week, but she's doing better now, so that's good. Anyhow, welcome again. If you like what you see, I hope you stick around and subscribe, maybe, perhaps, possibly, hopefully. Um, let's start off with what I am wearing today. So this is a t-shirt that I knit just a few months ago, actually. I finished it. Um, I didn't really follow a pattern for it. I kind of made it up myself as I went. So it's got a very wide neck to it. It's got a feather and fan going down the center in the front. I figure maybe one of these days, hopefully I'll turn it into a pattern, do some test knitting for it and, and other sizes. I like the over, oversized look, so everything's kind of um, big on me, but I knit it for a trip that I went on to Italy. I thought, you know, I'll have some cotton t-shirts to wear and you know, knit wear and didn't end up wearing any of them. So I also knit a second one. This is a yellow version. So this first one took just over two skeins of the Barocco Modern Cotton in their DK. So this first one took just over two skeins. Don't know what color it is. I lost the bands for it. I apologize for that. Um, but the second one uh, just took under two skeins. So I've got a, an extra skein. Not quite sure. I think maybe it's a little shorter. Maybe my gauge was a little tighter. Oh well, anyways, so there's that. I'll throw that over there. Today being my first episode, I've got quite a lot of knits that I've done over you know, this year as well as last year. I think I did 21 or 22 sweaters last year and not so many this year luckily but I've got a lot to show so I figured today I will just show some of my favorites um they kind of all happen to be in the pink family so we'll call today's episode the pink episode um I apologize for all the ums I'm a little nervous okay the first one is one of my all-time favorite patterns that I'm going to show you so this is the Shimo sweater by Lenny Hoi. So sh I'll put the, if I'm fancy enough, I'll, I'll figure out how to put the names on the screen. So you may see that if, if I figured that out. So Shimo sweater, it's my favorite. I've knit three of them. This was my third one. I knit it in Camellia Fibers, Camellia Fibers, Camellia Fibers? in her pink amethyst. So I've got her, it's alpaca silk cashmere fingering weight yarn held with her mohair. Such a gorgeous color. I love, like, it's kind of like an antique rose. Gorgeous. So this pattern is supposed to have lace detail on the sleeves. However, all of mine do not. The lace motif comes with cables on the sleeve and I just figured that would just get in the way of writing or typing as I sit up at my you know, desk all day working. So omitted that, that's one modification. Otherwise I think I pretty much follow a pattern for this. Love it to pieces. My first one took me four days to knit. It was right before Christmas. I wanted to wear it for Christmas Eve dinner. So I had a, a very tight timeline and I managed to do it. I'm a fast knitter. I also have a very loose gauge, so I use tiny needles. All right, next one up. This one is the Celeste 
sweater uh, by Sari Nordland. Got this gorgeous lace bobble motif. The bobbles are a little different than any other bobble I've done before, but I really like just how tiny they are. They, they don't seem to overwhelm in this sweater. The yarn for this one is from a, one of my favorite yarn companies. She's Canadian. It's called the Hidden Pond Yarns. I'll show you her little label here. Hidden Pond Yarns. Let's see. colorway is Bramble. So this one is her, it's an alpaca silk cashmere blend on DK weight. So I do, you'll notice that I, I, I don't actually have any sheep's wool to show you today. Everything is mostly alpaca, mohair, or surrey. Maybe the cashmere. <laughs> this is what I've got left for the yarn. Gorgeous, gorgeous color. I love how the alpaca silk cashmere blends. She calls it dreamy DK. It doesn't pick up the color as strongly, so everything's a little bit more muted. The same thing you'll get with any non superwash yarn. It, it just doesn't pick up the color as much. I love the um, unpredictability of it, though. All right. Next one. So this one's a fun one. I haven't actually worn it out yet, so it's got all its uh, ends attached still on one of those uh, <laughs> one of those knitters. So I haven't worn it yet. It's a little loud. I was in a very um, colorful mood back in spring, so in March. March is my birthday month, so March I just feel everything bright and colorful, so I knit this in March. By the time I finished it, Kind of out of the, the colorful face, so hopefully next March I'll wear it quite a bit. This one actually isn't a pattern. Again, I just kind of made it up as I went. It's got a very wide neck. I really love the wide neck, so if you don't like the wide necks, I, I don't know what to say. I don't, I don't like the tight necks, so. Anyways, I kind of made it myself. It's an oversized, as you can see, quite oversized with a tapered sleeve. Again, I think because I've made one, two, like five of these kind of following the, the same formula for them, I might write it up as a pattern as well and just sell it as like a basic, simple, first time pattern. Again, if you like the wide boat neck, these are for you. So the yarn I used here, I've got a little bit left over is I held it with an alpaca yarn from Knit Picks. Sorry to all you knitting snobs, but hey, I knit with alpaca, so it gets expensive, so you gotta do what you gotta do. And uh, no shame, no shame. So I got the Knit Picks Eco Superwash Fingering Weight Yarn in their bare color, so there's uh, no dye on this. Just use the fingering weight held with a surrey. This surrey is from, just pull this out here, Pasley Yarn, I think that's how you pronounce it, Pasley. I always want to say Paisley, but there's no I in it. So Pasley Yarn in it. Don't let anyone make you disappear. So this is part of her Hot Starper collection. Never actually seen the show, but it's on my list. I just love, love how this turned out. I have yet to post anything to my Instagram on it though, so got to get on that. All right, moving along. Next thing I want to show you is the Un, Untuva, Untuva pullover by Nijiu KP. You can see it. It's got this lovely eyelet detail along the raglan. It's a bit of a thicker sweater. It's so soft. So soft though. So I knit this with one strand of Concept by Katya Alpakina. It's a fingering weight 100% alpaca, alpaca yarn. Colorway is 309. Held with Woolberry Fiber Co. in her bouquet colorway. 
So this is her Surrey alpaca, her old Surrey. She's recently changed her Surrey alpaca um, to a little bit thinner so you get a little bit more yardage with it. Typically I need about two, no, sorry, three skeins of Surrey plus a bit for a few, minus a bit for, for some. So anywhere between three to just, just a little dip it into four skeins. But with her new yardage, I could probably get away with just three. Sorry, my dog is trying to get on my lap. <laughs> yes, baby. We're podcasting. Yeah, we're podcasting. You want to say hi? No. Okay. All right, we're almost done. <laughs> so this is another sweater I made up myself. I apologize for that. I, I don't really follow patterns very much. I gotta get on that. Maybe I'll make this one into another pattern as well. Again, with the wide neck. I'm really loving my wide necks. It's got an eyelet detail going down the side, the raglan. But I've carried it on to the side of the body as well. Yeah. I love how bright this one is. As you can tell, I also knit this one in March because I was very into the bright pink at that moment. Had my phase. So this one again, my favorite yarn is from the Hidden Pond Yarns. This is her dreamy sock yarn. At the time, she didn't really have this on her website. She only had the dreamy DK, but she recently stocked her dreamy sock as a permanent base. It is alpaca, silk, and cashmere. I think it's 70% uh, alpaca, 20% silk, and 10% cashmere. It's a dream, honestly. It's a dream. And I held it with her mohair. So this colorway is called More Is More, and more certainly is. Look how bright that is. Wow. I don't know if it's coming out on camera. It looks kind of yellow to me. It's just so bright. Yeah, I think over here that, that looks about right. Okay. Love this colorway. Um, I've used her other colorway called Raspberry Jam. Turned it a little bit lighter. Um, actually, I've got it right here. This is Raspberry Jam. I made a hat with it. So this is the leftover from a hat. So you can see the difference between Raspberry Jam and More is More. Yeah, <laughs> More is More. All right. Last thing I'm gonna show you today is a shawl that I knit. This is my second one that I knit of this kind doesn't have a name because I just kind of made it up myself as I went along. So it's in Broken Rib. And it just, it fades from light purple into darker purple to some pinks and gets very bright in the pink. This was a yarn fade that I purchased from Hidden Pond Yarns in her dreamy DK base. She posted it, I couldn't resist, it was pink. I was feeling pink at that moment, so <laughs> had to have it. It came with a couple greens, I think, in, in the fade, which I omitted and I kind of rearranged um, things a little bit to just get this. So I love it. I'm currently sweating though, so I'll put it on momentarily. very long. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Perfect for the winter. I wore it so much in the, well, I guess it's called spring here, but in Canada there's still snow on the ground until sometime in May, April. Anyways. So that's everything I want to show you today. Otherwise, there's a few things I'm working on. I've got a couple of my oversized wide neck sweaters that I'm working on. I'm working on two of them right now. Um, both are Surrey, uh, held with the alpaca yarn from Knit Picks, so Surrey from Wool, uh, Woolberry Fiber Co. Um, what else? I'm working on a Sunweavers shawl 
in Hidden Pond Yarns colorways, but I don't have any of that here to show you right now. My bad. Anyways, I, I just wanted to show you a couple couple sweaters and say hi. Welcome. Um, if you have any questions for me or about me, feel free to leave them in the comments down below and I'll be happy to answer them in my next episode. Um, hope you enjoyed today and hope to see you again. Take care. Bye.